In 2011, CBS struck gold with Two Broke Girls, a show about, you guessed it, two broke girls. Twenty-somethings Max and Caroline, played by Kat Dennings and Beth Bears, spent most of the show's six seasons struggling to make ends meet while working as servers at a diner in Brooklyn. That is, until they tried earning some serious dough with a cupcake franchise. We all know that Dennings and Bears made a phenomenal team, but here are some things you might not know about Two Broke Girls. Are you ready? No! <laughs> The Pitch While the show eventually landed at CBS, co-creator Michael Patrick King told The Hollywood Reporter they weren't the only network in the game. He said, "...there was interest from Fox, CBS, and ABC. A bidding war ensued." But that didn't mean the networks didn't want to make some major changes. Co-creator Whitney Cummings told The Mag, "...I believe the feedback from Fox was, can it be two broke boys?" So that didn't work out. Nevertheless, the two stuck to their guns. King remembered, "...I didn't see any hard-working 20-year-olds on television, and I especially didn't see any hard-working female characters." But Nina Tassler, then entertainment chairman at CBS, knew Two Broke Girls was programming she just had to have. Casting Chemistry if you have to work together for six seasons, it's a plus if your coworker's your best friend. And luckily for Dennings and Bears, they're as close in real life as they looked on the show. Dennings told Entertainment Tonight, "...Beth and I genuinely love each other and are best friends in real life, and that probably reads." Dennings even credited the show's success to their genuine friendship, and Bears feels the same about her former co-star, dubbing Dennings as her bestie and Bay with the hashtag #BearCat. A certain type Although Two Broke Girls averaged over 6 million total viewers in its fifth season, the show had issues, mainly with its heavy reliance on stereotypes. The New Yorker's TV critic Emily Newsbaum called the show so racist it is less offensive than baffling. In fact, three of the four supporting cast members, Jonathan Kite, Jennifer Coolidge, and Matthew Moy, all played people of ethnic backgrounds different from their own, complete with phony accents. Not to mention the great Garrett Morris, stuck in a one-dimensional role as a cashier. Newsbaum said Morris should sue for the limp gags he's fed. Emmys and Haters The show may have been a hit, but it definitely had its critics. Matthew Gilbert of the Boston Globe said the show's jokes were like, "...getting slapped across the cheeks repeatedly with a rubber ducky." And The Hollywood Reporter's Tim Goodman initially dubbed the show the most disappointing new sitcom of the fall. But when co-creator Michael Patrick King was questioned about the various problematic elements of the show, Uproxx reported he answered back, "...I personally am thrilled with everything we're doing." Two Broke Girls was nominated for an Emmy 12 times with one win, and fans were tuning in right to the very end. 138 Episodes Later Despite the show having maintained decent ratings throughout its sixth season, CBS pulled the plug after 138 episodes. Head of scheduling for CBS Kelly Call told Deadline, Two Broke Girls was a really good show for us for a very long time. Our comedy development this year was very good, and that puts a lot of pressure on some of your older shows. After the cancellation was announced, Dennings and Bears tweeted their fans thanking them and crediting the show with their lifelong friendship. So what about Max's mom? Throughout the show, viewers were fed bits and pieces about Max's estranged mother. But thanks to an abrupt end, all hopes of her ever appearing on the show were dashed. And according to TV Line, the creators of Two Broke Girls were in talks at the time with the woman they hoped would guest star as Max's mom in season 7. Cher. Yeah, we're totally with you on all the feels about that. Where are they now? It's been a while since Dennings and Bears last graced the small screen together in 2017. But the two are slated to return, just not on the same show. Deadline reported Dennings was tapped for an ABC comedy based on the book How May We Hate You, and Bears will be playing the female lead in the comedy Our People for Fox. Should the shows get ordered to series, we can only hope they don't air at the same time, because who could ever choose between these talented ladies? They may have moved on to the next chapter, but will be Team Bearcat for life. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.